Okay, so this task number five. Yeah, we are going to talk about the the basic reading, plotting, and and writing the files. Okay. Okay, so let us save the file as a task O five, and then in your in your folder, okay. So make sure that you you have a data file here. So or you can you can just um, creating um, by yourself on the on the Notepad or any thing any text editor. Okay. So we we want only the plain text data. So so the, the doc document. So Microsoft Microsoft Word document cannot be used in this way. Okay. So. To read the text file, text file into the array, so you can see that in in our text file, what we have is just just the data in two columns. So it would be um, something on the x-axis and versus something on the y-axis. Okay, so we have the commands to to read such a such a data. Okay, so <clears throat> so so you can start with importing the library okay so we start with import um, numpy as np again and then we also imp we also import um, the library for plotting so it's a mat plot lib library so import mat plot lib dot py dot pi plot yeah so uh, we normally import this as plt. Okay, so when we want to plot the graph, you just you can simply just use the plt. So reading the text file. Okay, so the way to do is uh, the first way. I <coughs> um, we have we have the command in in NumPy called the load text. Okay. So, so here, it it should be followed by your file, okay? So in this case, you are task five dot py. So, your so the location of your source code, it should be in the same location as your file, okay? So here, I have task o five here. I have data dot text here. So you can type um, data dot txt here, okay? And then save and and so if you run, okay. So it looks like nothing's happened, but if you type X here in your console, okay. So this tells you that the the program already read the file and already have already store the information from from the file into a two dimensional array, yeah, like this, okay. So then um, we want to make a simple plot of the data okay so the command that we use we use the plt dot plot yeah and uh, <clears throat> and the arguments that we need they say that is the x and y so the x axis it, it should be um, this first column of the data and the y axis it should be the first col the second column of the data so how can we get the first column of the data? So, so for this array, if for example, if, if I type uh, something like zero zero, it will show you the number um, at the zero row and the zero column, which which is actually the first ones. Okay, and if I type x, um, for example, three one. Okay, so it will sh it will show us um, the number from the third row. So this is um, zero row, one, two, three, and then and then the second columns. Yeah. So and so and the second columns. So it should give you this number, right? So it's one zero eight six three. So that's correct. Okay. 
And then the other way to specify um, some numbers in array is to use is to use colon. Okay. So for example, if I if I want to specify um, in the first column, if I want to specify um, the information on the row five to row to row eight, I would say five to nine. Yeah. So it will output the array of minus five, minus four, minus three, and minus two, which is here, which is actually here. Okay. Okay. But the thing is, we don't want just only these four numbers. So we, for the for the x-axis of of the plot, we want all these numbers in in the in the first row. We want all all the, all these number in the first row. So what you could do for for getting all the number, okay? So you just put the colon alone, okay? So so that so it will show you the arrays of all the numbers from from minus ten from the beginning to the last number, which is uh, ten. Okay, so so this is going to be your domain in the graph. And what about the range or the y-axis in your graph? Okay, so we are we are doing the same thing, yeah. So this means we get the information from all the rows, but we get information only from the second column. Okay. Okay. So okay, I uh, just missed typing. So actually, it should be x. Okay. So here you get you get the net values from here to here yeah so that's so that's going to be that so your array your two dimensional arrays is going to be split into two one dimensional arrays yeah? so for the plotting uh, <clears throat> we will just putting this into your argument and then this into your argument, yeah. Then when you run this again, yeah, it it should just show you the plot, yeah, of this data, okay. And then the next one, so how to <coughs> how to write the data. So now if you have the data stored in the form of array like this, okay. So for the NumPy library, yeah, we have. We have a <coughs> we have the command save text to to write down a file. Yeah, so here you can we can specify the file name. So we are going to write the file in the comma separated value or the CSV format. Okay, I I should note this for you. It's the comma separated values. Okay, and then, um, <clears throat> so if you do, if you start off with something like this, so click play. Ah, okay. So click play, and then, so okay, you need to, you need to um, specify the data array as well. So click play. Um, and then have a look at your folder. You should see something that is that has been output. So you you open some of the text editor. So here in the Mac you use text edit, and in the Windows you can use the Notepad. Okay. So this is what you have in the file. Okay. So this this is um, the numbers in in the scientific format. It is a little bit difficult to look. Okay, so what you can do here is you can specify the format that you know. So you can you can use something like percent eight point three f. Okay, so if we run this again, if you do this again, and then have a look back at your file. Okay, so 
we have <coughs> the numbers written in, in the given format. Okay. And also, if we specify this delimiter, so the delimiter means that what signs or or what are the things that separated your values? Okay, so we use comma to separate your values. So we specify the delimiter to be comma. Okay, so let's run your program again. And then now, what you should have for the CSV is that is the is your values separated by the commas. Okay. And and for this format, okay, it can be easily opened by the Excel. Okay, so if you right click and open with the Excel, okay, it it can be shown in the Excel. Okay, so so this is how we connect the Python to the Excel. So we can we we can have some value that has been processed and. We can we can write down in the format that can be read by the Excel. Okay, and the other way to write a text file is we can we can just write this down by printing in the text file. Okay, so we start with open. So so I will <coughs> I will call the file. Your new our new file as a data dot out that, that might mean output or anything, and then comma and an index word you you put uh, w so the w here it mean, it just mean just mean writing yeah and then uh, before uh, before we will forget when you open the file you need to close the file too so. I'll do the f dot close over here. Okay. So here, um, what we do for for each of the rows in in this array is we are going to write down these numbers one by one along along with any text that you like. Okay. So <clears throat> here, if I try something in in the console here for you so if i say like four point in x okay so just use a for loop in here and i would just say um print point okay then that enter two times so it will just print print out um <coughs> The members of the two-dimensional array, so it, it will just print out each row of <coughs> of your array um, separately. Okay, so it start with um, printing this. So so this is like this will regard um, this one-dimensional array as the name um, point. Okay. Okay. So if I do the same thing over here. Four point in X. Okay, and then I I I would do a little bit different thing here. So here I I would print um something like X equal um percent eight point three F format and Y equals percent eight Point three f, and then backslash n. So backslash n here is, it is uh, just like you pushing enter. So my backslash n stand for new line. Okay, and again percent. Okay, so we'll do point zero. Okay, so if I say um, if I say point zero here. It will it will just print out the first number. So if I if I do the point um, 
1 here it will be printing the it will be printing the second column okay so this is the value in the first column and this is the value in the second columns okay so when i run the when i run this program in the in the editor what you should have is the printed messages of x equals a number and y equals a number okay so if you want to print this message into the file you just change from print to f dot write okay so so because firstly we have opened the file data dot out and we store the file in in a variable called f and this is what we do with with the file object we we write some strings into the into the file object okay so if i run this again and then have a look at the data dot out using notepad or anything i cannot op okay can open this okay open with Okay, you're just gonna get this. You're just gonna get this as um, the data in the file. Okay, so this is the end of the task five. Thank you.